You can you can you can talk dirty. Hi, let's talk dirty. Oh, hello. How are you doing? <laughs> I want to go in, well, I'll tell you who I met today, which was very interesting. I met a guy in London called Daniel Johnson. He's a personal stylist. How do you know him? Just from the internet. <laughs> right, okay. I don't know, I know of him. Okay. What do you think of, of him? I've only seen his website. I remember okay. when I was looking at personal stylist in London, he was okay. the one who popped up. Okay. Because, good guy, good meeting. We done a podcast together. I've interviewed him for my podcast, now we met uh, sort of... How much is a pint of beer? <laughs> 550 or something, right? Is that the right one? Oh, sorry, no, no, it's the right one. <laughs> Jeez. Um, 30 quid. <laughs> That's, That's an expensive pint. Um, so, yeah, tell me about Daniel yes. Johnson. So, Daniel Johnson, very interesting business model in a way that he. How much? This guy again, like we, I, it's either I cannot get enough get of enough you, of or I just, you know, I, I cannot get anyone else to talk to me. Like <laughs> yeah. it's, it's either of those two like things. Paul would talk to me. Yeah, like yeah, I can, I can convince Paul. Yeah, I can find him somewhere in London. Uh, so we're here, late of London, uh, beginning of November, end of the year. Oh, let's talk about, let's talk about the end of the year stuff. In a sense that, how do you? where you've been, what you've done, kind of let's try to summarize the year because it's kind of oh. getting to that stage right now, right? I don't necessarily do that as much as I used to. Okay. I used to always set New Year's resolutions. I do this that year's on gonna be my year. birthdays. So my birthdays are days where I'm kind of, okay, so I don't do that much on New you Year. You have a lot of those as well, haven't you, birthdays? Terrible joke, by the way. <laughs> uh, I have 36 of those. Yeah, I look 36. You're like, no, you, you want to, you want to just say younger. compliment, you and then you're younger. like, no, he looks 36. You do look younger, but no, I don't, I don't set New Year's resolutions. No? But what about, what about summarizing the year? Do you look back and kind of say, oh, um, you know, that went well, that didn't go so well. I was kind of hoping for this I to go I'm better. Always, better. Like, I'm always critical anyway. All okay. right. We are the worst critics of ourselves, or whatever, yeah. right? Whatever the saying I goes. I don't think I, I used to be very critical of my year. Uh huh. But the reason why is I used to set really high goals and I wouldn't hit them. Okay. So you've probably done that where you're like, yeah. I want to do this. It comes around to no November and you're beating yourself up because you're like, I haven't done that. Yeah. I haven't done that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So now I just take every day as it comes. Okay. So that helps you in a, in a sense. But how do you then define goals? Because the kind of goals, if you got a three months, six months, whatever year goal, if you just take a day, how it, you know, but just day by day, then how does that reflect in your goal? Like if, if the goal is to grow like, or whatever else. Yeah, right? now I've got like a clear goal in my mind that I don't have to plan it out as much. Before, I will bounce from like one goal to the next goal to the next goal. Yeah. Because now I'm very much like, I want to do this, I want to do this and then that's it. Okay. Anything that comes in between that? Yeah, exactly. Because, hey. because things that come in between, like your TV appearance for your book and, you know, the... the, yeah, the uh, book, Sky yeah. News, BBC News, you know, all those And all those things, you know. Like, you, know. Uh, you didn't plan them? They, no, they, exactly. Did they, they just come? They, how did you get them? Uh, how did you get them to be in touch with you? How did you get those appointments? Um, that's interesting. Both of them were through connections, really. Okay. So, like, again, yeah, no, just for the last probably six months, uh -huh. building relationships okay. in the mental health space. Okay. Um, trying to give value to as many people, whether it's through social media, uh -huh. like charities, and people that are already doing it. Yeah. And then the BBC one come from a guy, said, I've had this come in, I can't do it, do you want to do it? So I took that. Okay. Um, Sky News was from a charity, they said, we want someone to come speak, will you do that? Nice. And then the first one from Sky News was through that, and then she invited me on. So then I did that. I'm off okay. my back. Okay. Um, but yeah, like I just think give value to others, be patient, that's what I'm doing, and time and things will start to happen. Hmm. And I've seen also on those interviews you were purposely, no doubt, not wearing like three piece suit and a, <laughs> yeah, yeah. And a tie and a pocket yeah. square. Like you were purposely sort of uh, going. Dressing it down. Yeah, dressing it down so. Um, so you not looked at the style guy? You, you didn't yeah, want to be yeah. a style guy anymore? Not is that, so much is that? that. I just think like, it might look a bit like, forced if I'm on there like wearing a three-piece suit. Okay. But I think I was gonna, mm -hmm. but... Really? Okay. Not a three-piece suit, I was gonna yeah. wear something like yeah. this. Yeah. But I thought maybe it looked a little bit false. Okay. 
Um, but then I did a speech at a black tie dinner, and I reckon I, the tuxedo looked nice. And that was nice. I think it's um, I've got that in my toolbox now. Okay. But it's something that I don't think I need to use to get the point across. Mm, mm, that makes okay. Sense. okay. How is the book going? Well, man up, man down. Man up, man down. It's going well. It, it's sold out. The first print run sold out. And what's that? It's, it a, came out. it's a 400 pieces. Five, 500. Okay. So that sold before the release date. Nice. Um, but I don't know in terms of sales reports because yeah. Amazon let the publisher know like at the end of the month. Yeah. Um, but yeah, the, the main thing is the feedback. The feedback's been really good. Mm. It's been really good. How was the the trip as well? Because we last time met yeah. on, uh, during the Liverpool trip. Tiring. Like, it was it was amazing, but it was. I don't know whether I would cram as much in next time. If right. I was to do it next yeah, time, yeah, yeah. it would be less. It was just too much. Okay. Like because of the the conversations that you're having. Okay. Like they you, kind of what well, they 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 stuck with deep, you like for a bit yeah, longer deep than they. Conversations and then then you move, you drive. Driving's not fun anyway, and then you get there, and then you have another meetup with more conversations. I, we scheduled in a couple of hours downtime. We didn't have that in there. It was literally just full on the whole time. Mm. So mm. I come home like tired. Yeah, 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 completely. Yeah. I think I've seen fun. your post on social media somewhere after you kind of just before you were coming out of the car to go and see your family again, and you were like, Fuck, I'm glad it's over, yeah, yeah. kind of situation. The video is nearly done. I, right. I've seen the second draft now. Okay. It's, 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 it's amazing. The lads like, did a good job? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And I think like we're adding some narration in now because there's clips that you can see. At the beginning, I look really fresh. Like, oh, let's go. At the end, I'm like, there's a scene of me in um, a guy's house that we stayed at. And I just look, I look wasted. I'm just like drained, like no color in my face. And I'm like, right, another day. So I think it'd be nice to see nice. the whole thing. Nice. How, how was the um, the meeting with yeah, the... Man in. <laughs> hey, we're recording the video. Excuse me. Sorry, we're, sorry. We're recording. He's never shy of the camera. Yeah. He's you camera shy, eh? Yeah, yeah. I, I've never been on camera. <laughs> are, you, are you joining us? What are you guys talking about? He's just chatting. we just chatting. We're just, just chatting. The, the, the because I cannot get anyone else to talk yeah. to me uh, except Paul. So last time I think um, we had only Paul on my channel. Hello. Else. Yeah. Um, Is anyone there? This guy, you so, look really good. Yeah. Really, in, in that, really in that shirt. I dressed up today. Yeah. Although nice you do need a shirt. I dressed up today. Yeah? This is Michael's this shirt. Is, this is my shirt. Yeah. We made that. That's how he looks so good. Yeah. yeah. That's, yeah. That's you want some shirt. custom clothing, yes. you need to go to this guy. Yes. Yeah. Um, we were talking about mental health as well as we were talking about, because Paul did a road trip mental health yeah, yeah. Um, okay. that was that was really good that, that took six days of your life six days uh, camera guys uh, sort of filming the whole experience it's fun yeah. it? It, yeah. it's, it's fun but it's tiring yeah. I did like I drove 1300 miles around the UK yeah. and in every location we did like a little meet up like this mm. not as big as this but like say six people ten people yeah. And yeah, it was, it was... You didn't tell me anything about this. I know. Yeah, what's up with that? He doesn't follow me yeah. anymore. <laughs> I, I don't follow anyone. It's my wife, she like took away my phone. She's like, you need to be home. And said, <laughs> well, I yeah. mean, let's see who laughs at this laugh. Yeah. Your wife is like, I'm watching this. Like, she I'm, is. Uh, She's spying. Okay, She's okay, like, okay. like, hey. I, are you yeah. here with your family? No, no, no. I no? came just no. around this time. I'm only right. here for uh, till Monday. Okay. So. In because last time you were here with a family, month. right? Yeah, we were here and we had the whole family here. Yes, so. exactly. Okay. So yeah. you're just here for the yeah, we, talk, right? Yep, just for the talk. Okay. So, and then we decided to do this right before. So. Very good. Yeah. So last is the family minute. back in the US or the Ukraine or where are they? US right now. Okay. So, okay. Yeah. yeah, they were like, uh, we decided to go to Hawaii. This, uh, this you know, skip London and go to Hawaii as a family. So. Tell yeah, a lot to do that. Yeah. <laughs> I would choice. choose that any day. Yeah. Well, I'll let you guys get back because you know. I feel really awkward with this one now. It's okay. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll catch it, don't worry. We'll, we'll catch it in a second. Um, Testing one, two. <laughs> She's like, F you. So that was Mr. Centeno. We, we, uh, we don't know who he is, but he just <laughs> casually sort of come in and, and just pop into our videos. I don't even know what we, what were you talking about? That note. <laughs> <laughs> Um, what's next for you then? Just more of what I'm doing. Just patience, more content, 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 content. 
but to do okay, what ultimately obviously helping people but it's it's my goal is like, I want to eventually yeah, conference do organizing more conferences okay. public speaking okay. and trying to build that audience mm -hmm. to leverage up you mm -hmm. know and I, I don't want to monetize that audience through sponsorship so mm -hmm. okay. I'm not interested in that okay. like the long game build up that audience then you're in the you're in the position to be like right I want to do this or let's do this nice. it's, a, it's a long way of doing it but that's that's going to take some advertising that's going to take some high profile people to come I want here to make and my money elsewhere like I make my money from the digital marketing consultancy from lecturing which funds this mm. so I'm not doing this to make money yet mm. I'm not like right I need to attach something to this video that funnels them into an ebook that I make money from it's more about like just do that build up that audience make money elsewhere I mean fingers crossed because that's going to that's the Gary Vee model, man. You yeah. follow Gary Vee. I know, I know, but I know how difficult that's going to be. Like, if I was to start off again, like anything that I've created, it's going to be a struggle. Like, yeah, yeah. you know, because that's where you are at the moment. Like, you, you all of a sudden, from that style content, you are, you have to create everything new for the mental health stuff. And obviously, you've been doing that for a while now, but it's, it's new. Like, yeah, you've yeah. got a thousand subscribers. You've got, you know, five hundred followers. You, you, and obviously, it's more saturated than it was five years ago, three yeah, years yeah, ago, yeah. or you know. Yeah, it's going to be challenging, but you know, I'm only 18, so... You look, you look 32, what, what happened? 28. What 28? She, she's like 18? What, how old are you? 28. 20... No. 30. 30. No way! No way. 28. No way. Yeah, man. Very much sure for 20. I'm not in my 30s like you. No, really? <laughs> no, I can't believe you. You must be like. I'm 28. Honestly. 1990. Jesus, young. Wow. So. Wow. 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 On that note, I'm old. I'm out of here. <laughs>